three, two, one, let's do it. and on this channel we talk about fragrances so if you're interested in that topic press that subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified of my latest videos and let's get on with today's video today we're talking about a fragrance and whether it is better than Creed Aventus so the fragrance in question is Elysium by Roger Doe version. Another reviewer, Demi, she does fragrance reviews, she has posted a video saying that this fragrance is better than Creed Aventus and I just wanted to, you know, give you my own spin on this and let you know my thoughts on this fragrance. <sighs> Firstly, let's talk about the bottle, this is amazing. Secondly, let's spray this on me, this sprayer. The Roja Dove, uh, the Roja Parfum sprayers are the best. The best, they are my favorite sprays. <laughs> what are the notes for this fragrance? And it's going to be a lot of notes, so I'm going to read them out. Top notes are lemon, bergamot, grapefruit, thyme, lime, artemisia, and galbanum. Middle notes are lily of the valley, rose, jasmine, black currant, definitely apple, pink pepper, cypril oil, or nagar monfa. Vetiver, cedar, juniper berries, Base notes are benzene, vanilla, labdamum, leather, and ambergris. That was a lot, wasn't it? Is it better than all time favorite Creed Aventus? Number one, this hasn't got batch issues as Creed Aventus has. So you're spending a couple hundred dollars and you're not sure whether you will get the nice batch or the batch batch. So that is. A clear pro to this fragrance so it is better in that aspect in terms of scent to me this is much more sexy a much better scent for me personally Roja Dove wins in this aspect too you must know this that I'm not the biggest Creed Aventus fan I think because there's so many clones of that fragrance I just have smelt it so many times on like teenage boys who want to smell like a man and it's just too popular and I think that has just been the problem it's too popular and I don't like the overtly like masculine in your face nature of that scent and this scent is so fresh i love the bergamot the grapefruit you can really almost taste the bitterness of the grapefruit in this fragrance it's so fresh and so masculine almost like a hypnotic masculine fragrance and this doesn't have the annoying oak moss and that is what annoys me kind of in Creed, um, uh, in Creed. Um, and this also, let me just look at the notes. Oh yeah, the berries in this. So you've got black currant. Is currant a berry? I think it is. It also has got in the notes um, a blueberry. I can really smell and this is kind of a wild berry note this is not a sweet oh i'm wearing like berry sort of scent no this is a foresty spiky berry sort of scent if you know what i mean and i do love the green apple in this this smells like a fresh masculine cologne this smells very high-end this smells very uh, modern at the same time it's got that modern scent so you will smell classy and expensive but in a modern way and i think that is really what makes this fragrance along the same part as creed aventus because creed aventus is from a well-established classy house but it's got that modern spin on it and this has got the same the same sort of scent profile i just love the freshness of this together with the masculinity and a slight a slight touch of sweetness this has got the ever so slight touch of sweetness it's not a sweet fragrance it's a very everyday sort of scent that you can literally just spray yourself with this is designed to be worn every single day and without a question when i smell it on my husband i'm like damn 
you smell good. This is so much better scent wise to me and unique in the scent profile than Creed Aventus. So for me, this is a clear winner when comparing it to Creed Aventus. When you smell like this, you won't be like, oh, this is Creed Aventus, you know. You want to be a bit more creative and you want to be remembered for smelling like this and not smelling like every single guy that your girlfriend dated, if you know what I mean. And I do agree with Demi. So if you don't know how this smells, get yourself a sample, try it out and <sighs> that's it today's comment is from Sehat he says you got me very interested into this brand talking about fragrance de bois Monica your expressions your passion for this hobby and the sleek editing always does the job for me I'm going to London within two weeks and I hope to get my nose on them thank you so much I hope you like them I'm glad you discovered this house through me it's so nice to like know that people want to discover fragrances that I've talked about. It's so flattering, you know. Anyway, I post every Monday and Thursday and I do post from time to time a bonus video on a Saturday. So stay tuned and press that notification bell to get notified. Remember, if you love something, just wear it. Don't care about what the marketing team are telling you. And I'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye guys. We're actually with Steven from Red Lessons. Welcome to the channel. Hi everyone. Thank you so much for having me on the channel. I appreciate that. <laughs> it's so nice to actually meet him in person. 